Hey guys, it's Merum from Cryptolium here, and I'm um, just doing a small video just on um, RSI here. So for you know new people and people that don't know much about it, just as a basic video to so purpose of you know how to use it and how to adopt it with Cryptolium. Now, RSI, which is known as the Relative Strength Index, is used as an indicator to let us know if a cryptocurrency is currently being oversold or if it's being overbought. Now, it is just a simple mathematical equation at the end of the day um, so it's not a guarantee you know it's not something that you should look at as the number one indicator to know what to place an order in um, but it can help with knowing where the market's going and you know knowing if there's a lot of panic selling going on or you know same thing if it's at the top knowing if you know it's being bought too much there's too much hype going around it this is one good thing that RSI can be used for and adopted in your everyday trading strategies so the first thing I'll do, um, I'll just pull up a chart. Um, so I've got uh, up here Bitcoin on trading view. So, all right, I'm just going to pull up the RSI indicator. So for you, I mean, you might be using a different app, um, you know, Coinergy, you might be doing it on Cryptolium. Um, but basically, you know, most of these places will let you pull up these metrics and then, you know, indicators and put them in. So right now, okay. So I'll put in RSI on the 30 minute graph on trading view for Bitcoin. So now if we look at it and we look at the previous patterns, so if you look down here, um, you know, first of all, RSI usually follows, you know, the market trend. So if you're looking at the graph, it almost looks identical, but it gives you, it paints you, paints you, sorry, a better picture of what's going on in the market. So now if we take a look at here, um, the RSI cross below the 30 mark. So that's this mark here. Um, usually when it crosses below the 30 mark, it's an indicator that the cryptocurrency is currently being oversold. So there might be a lot of panic selling, a lot of FUD going on um, that might be causing this to happen. And, you know, looking at Bitcoin's history, um, you know, the past few weeks, you know, we can guarantee that as well. Today being Tuesday, the 13th of March in 2018. So now if we look at, um, as we come a bit closer, um, there's not as much sort of, FOMO going on lately, there's not much FUD going on um, in the market as compared to what was previously happening with Bitcoin. Um, but if you look at it now, um, you can see that it just tapped the 30 mark here um, and then started picking up again. So, you know, whilst this doesn't indicate that it's going to hit 70 and come down, it does tell you, um, you know, that it was previously oversold and now the market is coming back up and slowly going back so you know no one can tell you if it's going to hit um this cross over the 70 mark you know being overbought and then come back down um and this is why this indicator shouldn't be used as a guarantee but it can help you find previous patterns um for example you know if we look at the last three four oversold marks so if we look at this one so we became oversold right here a um, bit more panic selling and then you know the second time it hit 30 we started picking back up so that price is still going back up now and if you look at previously down here um, you know dip below the 30 mark and then we picked up price action again um, you know it looks like before we went back down that you know Bitcoin pretty much recovered um, gained 10% or so so um, you know, going back, you know, we'd see the same patterns constantly happening. So, um, you know, this is the basics of RSI. And um, usually when the market is trading sideways, um, it's a good time to use the indicator because once the market trades sideways, then it's usually a lot of um, action happening with cryptocurrencies, alt currencies, um, alt coins. Because once Bitcoin starts trading sideways, everything's a lot more readable. Everything goes up, everything goes down. And you'll see that, you know, using the, this oscillator and um, finding out when it's oversold and overbought. So that's just the basics of um, RSI. So, you know, you, you would tend to keep away if something is currently overbought. Um, you know, no matter how much hype is going on in the market, it's always a risk to go in in terms of trading. Um, You'd want to look for something that's, uh, you know, oversold or starting to pick up or, or something like that, you know, to avoid as much um, risk as possible. Now, how does RSI fit into the Cryptolium picture? Now, that's something that um, I'll show you now. So if we go to Cryptolium and log into the Graph app, 
um, I'm already logged in. So we have um, multiple RSI um, tools that you can use with, within the application. So one of the first ones that I'll show you guys is the global RSI analyzer. So the global RSI analyzer, what this does is it actually looks at the global market cap of the coins and then gives you the RSI value you know, in terms of the entire um, global market capitalization. So it's a different sort of RSI value, but, um, you know, it's not an exchange specific one where you'd go to B um, Bitrix or, you know, Binance and then pull up RSI. These values would be different because this takes into consideration every exchange. It consolidates the entire market. And we're the only tool that really does this, um, this type of market consolidation. So you can come in here, you know, and you can pick, um, top 300 cryptocurrencies and then see the current RSI values for the 5, 15, 30 minute, 4 hour and even the 24 hour candles and glance them all on one page. So it's a great place to do an analysis. Um, so I'll just go you know, quickly through this to show you guys. Um, next is the exchange specific RSI analyzer. So the last one we saw was you know, the global market capitalization as mentioned, um, whereas this one is exchange specific. So let's say we're already on Bitrix and then we can choose multiple coins. So let's show, uh, I'll choose, you know, these coins here. Um, and then, you know, you'll get the RSI value of those coins um, for, for all the same candle patterns that we mentioned earlier. Now, this is great for analysis and to get a clear picture or if you want to compare certain cryptocurrencies, things like that, um, you know, we're starting to put in um, USDT as well. So if you look at Binance, for example, um, and I'll pull up BTC USDT, and let's say I'll pull up Ethereum and Litecoin against against Bitcoin. So usually, what you would see here is um, when Bitcoin is oversold, then all coins are going up. So you can see that with Ethereum and Litecoin. Um, now, if I take our Litecoin, for example, and we just look at Ethereum and Bitcoin, you can see this is actually happening. So every time Bitcoin is oversold, um, altcoin will go up and then, um, you know, Ethereum here is oversold, Bitcoin is going up. So looking for these crossovers, um, you know, you can come in early and make these market assumptions because if you look at it in here, you can see that the pattern is happening every day. It's happening constantly. So, you know, if you... If you're just riding these two patterns the whole day, um, you know, coming in, coming out at the right times, then it's a great way to trade as well because you're basically just bouncing between Bitcoin and the alts. Um, you know, you obviously have to be a bit careful if the market is selling as a whole, then it's not a battle between Bitcoin and the alts, then it's, you know, it's, it's just a bloodbath. That's when you'd want to think about moving things to Teva or, you know, basically just keeping an eye on the market because, you um, you really need to stay safe and ahead of the game in this market because overnight anything can happen. And if you're holding, you know, all your assets in Bitcoin or, um, you know, altcoin, that can easily just change overnight. So be very careful with where you're holding your funds. And whilst we cannot give financial or trade advice, um, you know, a lot of people that use Cryptolium would engage with Teva um, right now. Um, it's a great way to secure your funds while you're trading. Um, it's something that we do as well. So. It's just sort of a tip, look into it, you know, decide if it's the best for you, um, read up more about it and see if, you know, that can help you trade. Now, <clears throat> the last part that I'll show you guys is our exchange-based alerts. So we'll look at the 30-minute one since we already got the 30-minute candles up on TradingView. Now, this is our alerts dashboard and we can look at RSI that's oversold and overbought. So as we said before, when it crosses below the 30 line, that means it's usually oversold. There's a lot of panic selling going on. These are ones you might want to you know, look up and see what's actually happening. Um, because if the pattern is matching, it might be a good time to buy. So if we look at ERC, let's see if they have it. Uh, ERC, BTC on Bitrix, they do have it. So if we take a look at this one, I mean, it doesn't look like this coin is getting a lot of volume. Um, so these, these are always things that you should look out for as well. Um, but you know you can you can kind of see that this one is about to be oversold or pretty much is um, and then you might pick up um, but this is something I'd stay very wary of as it doesn't look like this coin has a lot of volume going in and out um, so that's something that you need to keep an eye on you know if you want to just trade in the top 300 I'd say that's usually the safest bet 
um, because they have volume going in and out and the market's actually moving. These coins that don't have a lot of volume tend to be manipulated. And um, yeah, so basically you, you can look at that, you can um, see, for example here, this will tell you when MACD is currently, so the price is increasing, the moving average, and the RSI is oversold. So this is an indicator that something might start moving. Um, you know, so if we take a look at NEOS, see if we can get some better love from NEOS, um, Bitrix. Yeah, so if we're looking at it here, you know, another coin that doesn't have much volume, but um, it's also picking up slowly on the RSI. So this is the sort of patterns you'd want to look at, but for coins that have a lot more um, volume going in them, that's something you should always look at, in my opinion, unless it's your thing to trade low volume, unless you know what you're doing. As always, there's no best way to trade. It's always up to the trader. Everyone's got their own style. Um, Cryptolium is just here to give people these... Um, alerts a lot easier and a lot faster. So as you could see um, on TradingView, we'd have to pull up the coin, bring up the RSI oscillator from the indicators tab and then look at that information and analyze it. Whereas in Cryptolium, you can just come here, select the 30 minute candle, select exchanges that you're looking at and you'll get all these alerts in front of you straight away as we're seeing. So I'll tell you everything that's oversold, you know, straight away, overbought, um, that's going up in RSI and price, things like that. So. We'll do another video on MACD um, that will be similar to this one, but basically, um, you know, this is just to show you what you can do inside Cryptolium. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for you to do this type of analysis, um, technical analysis, and that's basically what we're trying to achieve here. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us, ask on YouTube, or reach us on Slack, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks, guys.